The work that I'm showing here is part of a much bigger um, project where I'm creating a series of films uh, where I'm mapping a, mm, journeys through the American landscape and each of the journeys is based on a classic road trip. The films are taken from uh, found YouTube clips and I'm just filming those directly from my screen and what I'm doing with each of the film clips is I'm translating the dialogue through Google Auto Translate which usually just mistranslates them and presents them as subtitles on the film. And you get these absolutely beautiful moments within those films where the subtitles make almost no sense at all or they have these really poetic uh, collections of words. So they're the bits of the films that I'm finding and isolating and then stitching those together. And what I've done for this show is I've taken the, just the narrative, so just those subtitled sort of dialogues from the film and treating it as a poem. The title of the whole project is this uh, canary yellow with royal blue and that's from a description of a building in San Francisco that housed the Sixth Gallery which back in the 50s had an infamous uh, reading of Allen Ginsberg's Howl. It was where kind of the beat poets met and they did this reading and that became mythologised and it was sort of the birth of the beat generation and in the audience on that night um, was Jack Kerouac who wrote On the Road. So that's where this idea of the road trips and the, um, the sort of travel across America comes from. The way that he wrote the book in the style of a stream of consciousness or in a monologue is um, connected to how the narrative works in this poem. It's like this, just this continual stream of words that kind of makes sense or you kind of feel like there's meaning there but there's also not at all because they're just these mistranslations but put together they have a sense of something very strange and beautiful, I hope. I want to create a, quite a theatrical space in a very minimal kind of way. So I'm creating these large uh, screens which are going to have a line of text on from the poem that's going to run along the bottom of the screen so it refers back to these subtitles. And the screens are quite monumental in that I'm going to use them architecturally in the space to divide the gallery up to inhibit the way that people would normally use the space and sort of explore how the, the text with the architecture starts to take on um, a real presence and a real um, interruption for people. And I've invited about eight women to come and read the poem. The women are all uh, non-English native speakers, so they're all multilingual, bilingual, or from some miles around the world. Okay, okay, it is too early. In the world, the girlfriend of death, when I talked about the sheep's blade and galloping horses, the wild is always there. I'm trying to explore these layers of mistranslation that have happened since that very original YouTube films that have gone through this process of mistranslation, then have gone through this process of editing and collaging together, through to removing them from the image entirely to becoming a poem to then handing that over to other people to read and to speak with a potential for maybe not more mistranslation but these different voices rather than just myself sort of talking through them. I'm Martin John Callanan. I'm an artist who researches an individual's place within different systems. So they could be systems from the environmental systems around us through to financial systems, so any systems that people encounter. So for this exhibition here at Baltic 39, I'm showing two new works that I uh, haven't shown before. The first one, Each and Every Command. It's a work that's taken uh, 12 and a half years to make. It, it consists of an archive and a record of every action or every, every edit or every mistake I've made in Photoshop over the last 12 years and they've been collected into 12 uh, large volumes and on 15 and a half thousand pages and 28 million characters. Uh, that's eight times the length of the complete works of Shakespeare. And uh, it's a total record of everything that I've done or edited. The, the second part of each and every command, uh, it's been released as an as a e-book for the Kindle. It's the largest ebook released uh, to date, and people will be able to download it for free from the Amazon website. I applied to Baltic 39 because I thought it was a, it's a very interesting way to experiment with work that hasn't been shown before. 
and I wanted to try out these new works uh, and see how an audience responds to them.